Yeah, next one is um, Un Chai Sumed um, from Departments of Chemical Engineering, Thammasat University. Okay, you're here. Okay. So you can start. Did you see my slide? Yes. Okay. Uh, you start now. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Chai Sumed Lengyut Rishagun, a Center for the Evaluation of Energy Conservation Measure in Designated Building, complied with Energy Conservation Promotion Act during 2010 to 2019. The overview of my presentation will start with introduction, objective, material, and method, resolve and discussion, and end with conclusion and recommendation. Start with the introduction. The energy consumption in Thailand trend is increasing every year. So the Ministry of Energy has a plan to lower energy intensity by 30% in 2037. When compared in 2017. To actually discuss the Department of Energy Development and Efficiency deploy enactment of the Energy Conservation Promotion Act. In this plan has a many type of energy conserve. This nature building is one of the energy conserve plan. This type of building has electricity consumption around 456 billion megajoules and heat energy consumption around 36 billion megajoules during 2010 to 2019. So energy conservation measures are applied due to high energy consumption. To achieve this energy conservation plan, the Department of Energy Development and Efficiency, or DEDE, implement two four main energy conservation measure catalog of designated building. The first one is housekeeping measure. It's a maintain efficiency and equipment, not investment, less time, and most popular. The second is matching chain, is a modify some machinery and equipment, have a higher efficiency and higher invest. The third one is a product produce improvement, adjust the whole process for maximum performance, and this one is a higher investment. The, eight, the last one is the other measure are the measure that cannot catalog to the other key measure because sometimes the data center has many measure use. The objective of this study is to analyze the use of energy consumption in designated building under the Energy Conservation Promotion Act number two during the 10 year period from 2010 to 2019. The second, is to analyze the measures that have been applied to the top 10 most designated buildings during 2010 to 2019. The last one is to analyze and find appropriate measures to conserve energy in designated buildings for future use. The material and method, the material all the data in this study provided by DEDE for designated building and no energy report in this report contains such as energy usage, measure performed by energy conserve, investment based in energy conservation. The method uh, in this study use a basic sample of course uh, used to analyze this study using the DEDE selection method for energy conservation measure that utilize the criteria to compare the saving in energy conservation on investment to compare measures that are the most worthless investment, the most saving per investment ratio from our measure that are classified into four main measures are used. The result that we, that we found in this study 
when compare measure that are the most used energy total energy use of the building in 2000 in 2019 the result found that the shopping center and the office have the highest energy concern energy use the, uh, the shopping center used around 148 million billion megajoule and office around 86 billion megajoule. However, when compared with the total amount of the building during that period, while both shopping center and office amount increasing every year. And the result of the top 10 most efficiently method used in designated building. While the first one is changing from fluorescent lamp to LED lamp. The second is proper maintenance. The third one is determining the schedule on our time. The fourth is using a new set of air conditioner with higher efficiency to replace the old. The fourth is proper maintenance. The fifth is determining time to turn off and turn on the device appropriately. The sixth one is using the on off switch control. The seven the eight one is changing the type of lamp. The nine is reduce the number of the bow, and the last one is reduce the working time of machine or equipment. The result of the housekeeping measures found that determining the right on off time is a saving per investment ratio around 45.84. The result of the machine chain measure found that changing from tungsten hydrogen bulb to LED bulb gives the highest ratio around 0 0.8. The result of the produce improvement measure found that using the variable speed system or VVVF on the motor of the cold water pump gives the highest saving per investment ratio around 0 0.8. And the result of the other measures found that enable and disable control gives the highest saving per investment ratio around 2.34. In conclusion, in this study, we found that the most energy used in the designated building is shopping center type that had 148 million megajoules and this delay to increasing amount of this building type of every year, unlike office type that have lower energy use rate. And we found that the most of three efficient efficiency measures used in designated building are changing from fluorescent lamp to LED lamp a proper maintenance and determining the right on off time specifically. This indicates the most measured method that many designated buildings choose to use in their business during 2010 to 2019. The result of the how crisping measure, this can be determined that the proper time saving measure that have the greatest saving per investment ratio by 45.84. However, this measure not have any investment cost, unlike a machine chain and produce improvement measure that need investment to operate this measure. This leads to lower ratio at only 0 0.8. For other process that are not three main priority measure catalog due to various measurements, not classification in housekeeping, machine chain, and produce improvement measure in this measure gives only 2.4 on control device method. For recommendations of this study, this study only focus on estimated building report during 2010 to 2019 and still need to work on other type of economic sector for more information that use energy conservation measure to conclude most efficient and efficiency for investment. Thank you. All right. Um, any questions from the audience?
Okay. If no, then I have some questions. Yeah. Um, you said that shopping mall, shopping centers produce, um, um, sorry, not produce, consume um, the largest amounts of energy, right? Of the um, electric, yes, that's electrical right. energy. And did you go a little bit deeper? Um, what kind of device, electrical device that um, consume um, electricity the most in shopping center? Uh, the most why are air condition and lighting system in the shopping center and the increasing of the, as you see in the slide nine, the increasing of the number of amount of shopping center are increasing every year. So the, they use more air condition and lighting system. Okay. So which one is greater be between the air conditions, between uh, the AC and the light lightning system? Uh, the AC is the most consumed energy. The most consumed energy. Can, you, can yes. you go to slide number 10? Okay. Okay. So, um, what is count? Um, um, is, what, what is count mean in this table? Uh, it means the measure are used in their, uh, in their factory. Or, or in the or in the building in the building. Okay. So in the building, three thousand five hundred and sixty-five counts. Yeah, uh, it's, is that, it means is that, uh, this this measure are used in in the building. Okay. All right. And um, here, changing from fluorescent lamps to LED lamps would save a lot of energy, right? And um, yes. what is mean changing the type of lamp? Um, uh, is that what is different between this and the first one? Uh, maybe we need to separate into types. Uh, sometimes the factory already have a fluorescent lamp and they change to LED lamp, but sometimes they use uh, the other type of lamp, not, not the for all the lamp, sometimes they use the, the the old the old bulb. I I don't know in English. Sorry. You mean you mean okay the light bulb, um, yes, like yes. um tung tungsten, right? Yes, yes, something like that. Okay, okay. And using the on off control switch is that um a switch for what? What what kind of electric um theoretical device that um that could save the energies from using on off control switch? Uh, I'm not sure about this one because uh, I found in, the, in the, the energy report that they say they change only the on off control switch. It's mm -hmm. related to uh, uh, electric device that have a control device, something like that. <laughs> okay. And also, um, Proper maintenance, window slash split type. Um, what does that mean? Um, sorry, I don't, I don't understand what this, what this mean uh, by split type. Uh, Is that about air con, air conditioner? Yes, or? it's uh, air condition too. Air conditioners between window or split type, uh, right? Yes, yes. Okay. How about the central air? Control and uh, not sure about it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and another one, proper maintenance. You see, um, one, two, three, four, five. Row number five. Count it's one thousand nine hundred and twelve. Proper maintenance. Is that proper maintenance for for what kind of um, device? Uh, like a matching device and uh, electrical device. That not uh, air condition. Oh, okay, all so, right. So we, we classify into the proper maintenance because sometimes the, the factory or the building center to the DDE, they, uh, they separate the measure into many types. So they need to catalog it and uh, put it in the very similar measure. All right, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Shai Sumit. Thank you. Thank you.